Hello, welcome to another episode of This, That, and The Other. How many people remember the chain EJ Corvette or Corvettes? I remember it being in the Washington, D.C. area when I came here in 1976. A little background information on Corvettes. It was a discount department store founded in 1948 in New York City. It was founded by a w World War II veteran Eugene Furkoff and Joe's Willenberg. First one store was 400 square foot loft in Manhattan. It sold luggage, household appliances, and some jewelry, one third off regular prices. And a little more information I had to get off the internet on, on this. I'm going to read a little bit. Corvette used membership cards, which is distributed in front of its stores and to surrounding offices, to style itself as a retail cooperative. In doing so, Corvettes was able to accept deep discounts from suppliers, something that competing co department stores such as Macy's and Gimbel's could not do. In fact, Macy's and others filed numerous fair trade lawsuits against Corvette to stop it from undercutting their prices. None succeeded. The lawsuits helped Corvette by calling attention to prices so low that the competitors thought them illegal. Founder Eugene Furkoff attributed his idea for membership cards and deep discounts to luggage wholesale here seller Charles W. Wolf, but where Charles W. Wolf made limited or even surreptitious use of these devices, Corvettes popularized them, popularized them by instructing employees to distribute membership cards to any person entering any Corvettes. Corvettes' decline and closure are variously attributed to inconsistent management, failure to focus on merchandise and news such as its appliance, and ultimately attempting to directly compete with department stores in areas such as fashion, which it had neither the expertise nor the right store atmosphere. 1979, Corvettes was purchased by Agache Willet Group of France, which initially closed Corvettes' first least profitable stores and began selling merchandise, fixtures, equipment, and real estate. 1980, they declared bankruptcy on, on December 24, 1980. They closed all of the remaining 17 stores. So I, I do remember Corvettes. They they, they were big on selling records, and I do remember late 70s commercials about, for fashion, shop the other Corvettes at Corvette. So they, they were trying to get into the fashion business as well. And I thought they were pretty cool stores. I, I, um, they, were, they, were, they were, like I said, they were in the D.C. area when I came here in 1976, and were gone by the time, by 1980. And I think probably before 1980 they were gone. Here, I remember Springfield Mall having a Corvettes at, at one time. It, I think after 19, 1977, that's when I saw them start to disappear. But that's what I, I was able to get on the chain Corvettes. Like, subscribe, share. As always, happy Thanksgiving to you. And how about those Ravens, how they're doing right now? They're only, only two losses, and they can run to the Super Bowl. Hope it happens. As always, thanks for watching. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you.